I'm going to demonstrate the digitizing capabilities of the model 2461 source meter. In this test, I'm going to use a high brightness LED. I'm going to provide a voltage pulse to the LED and digitize the current. So let's set up the test here. First thing I need to do is hit function and I need to hit the digitize tab and I'm going to source voltage and digitize current. Okay. Now, to ensure that I get the right measurements, I'm going to change the measure range from 100 milliamps to 5 amps first. Okay. Now, I hit my menu button and I can go to my measure settings icon here and right now the sample rate is set to 100,000 readings per second and a count of 10,000 readings. So I'm going to leave it there for right now. I hit my menu button and I hit my pulse icon here so I can set up the pulse test. So I'm going to go through this very quickly here but I'm going to leave the bias voltage at zero. I'm going to set the delay for 250 microseconds. I'm going to set the level, the pulse level, at 5 volts. I'm going to set the off time to 250 microseconds. I'm going to set the width of the pulse to 250 microseconds. And I'm going to set my bias limit and my limit to both 5 amps. I'm going to leave acquire readings on and abort on limit off. So now I just need to generate this test. So let's hit the generate button. So that I can view the graphing capability of the digitizer, I'm going to hit menu. I'm going to go to views and view graph. Okay, I haven't hit the trigger button to start the test, but let's do that right now. So when I hit trigger, you saw the LED flash, and there is the measured current pulse at 100,000 readings per second. I can do it again and get the same results. So the digitizer is capturing this data at a reading rate of 100,000 readings per second. Now one of the nice capabilities of the Model 2461 is that I can plot more than four graphs here. So let's hit data and I want to look at the source values because the 2461's digitizers have the ability to measure both the voltage and the current simultaneously. So let's add a trace. Def buffer 1 is where I'm actually collecting my data and I'm going to hit buffer element source so I can view the source value at the same time. I hit graph and now you can see a blue trace that is the measured readback of the voltage pulse. So now if I hit my trigger button, now I can capture both pieces of information. The blue being the voltage pulse and the green being the measured current pulse. But can I get a faster reading rate? Well, the answer is yes. If I go to menu and I go back to measure settings, I want to change the sample rate to a million readings per second. That's the fastest reading rate for the digitizer. So let's change this to one, one million for the sample rate. I'm going to go to menu and I have to go back to my pulse test here to regenerate the script to utilize the new reading rate. So I hit generate. It's configuring the system. If I go to menu and hit views, graphs, and if I hit trigger, what you see right now is what we caught at 100,000 rings per second, but if I hit trigger now, now you can see a more richer graph at higher resolution. And then if you're really interested in looking at things like the timing here, I can actually set up cursors here, vertical, and I can actually check the current pulse to make sure, I'm sorry, the voltage pulse, to make sure it was within 250 microseconds. And I roughly have the cursors in the right place. And if I look right here, I can see delta X is 258.8 microseconds. So indeed, the 2461 was outputting a voltage pulse 
at 250 microseconds. This gives you a brief presentation of the digitizers in the 2461.